Okay, pass auf, meine Damen und Herren, Ladies and Gentlemen, uh, we make this English because it's tennis, it's an international sport. I show some um, uh, material from my teaching. Now this is Christian, for example, he was um, a week ago, absolutely no tennis, ne? never. And I gave him three lessons in table tennis, because we logically f uh, start uh, with something small in your hand, ne? which table tennis is much better. As, uh, as a skiing teacher, I always uh, prefer to start with cross-country skis and not to go to downhill skills. This is similar, okay? Now change the hand, ne? and the, the, the speciality of our training is that we try to teach uh, both hands from the very beginning, because it is good uh, for your spine. Yeah? John is showing another exercise. This is uh, especially good for children. When we start to learn coordination uh, with the tennis ball, it is absolutely ridiculous that uh, you put the child on the tennis court and you just uh, tell him, uh, play, ne? <laughs> make small balls. Ne? First, you have to have the feeling at all what it is to have a tennis rocket. Ne? And uh, um, because basically you should be able to, and the other side, make the backhand side. Ne? Uh, you turn your, turn your rocket to the other side, like that. But you have also to move your rocket here. Ne? No, 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 no. no. Uh, uh, this is, you see, this is a proof that uh, Christian does not know nothing about tennis because he <laughs> wanted to turn from forehand to backhand uh, like, like a piece of ball. Ne? If you turn uh, the rocket, you, you, you can move it like that. You see the players in the game that they, they, they rotate the rocket. Ne? And if you play Very a well. forehand... So you have here one, one line and the other line. One line and the other line. Ah, okay. And if you play forehand, the second line yeah. is here, where your thumb Hmm? Uh, is here this position, no? okay. okay? And then from this is forehand, no? hmm. and if you play backhand, then you change to the other side. That, that this line is there where the middle of your uh, thumb is, no? hmm. okay? Hop, yeah. and hop, and hop, and, and hop. hop. Yeah. So okay, then you go then the other direction, no? okay? Okay. So as you have said. Uh, the children and the uh, people who learn for the new, for the beginning, sometimes they have to simply have the feeling that there is something in their hands and that the, the ball and the rocket and they have to be coordinated. Ne? And the third exercise was um, trying to catch the ball from the air so that it does not jump off the surface of the rocket. This is also a very good coordination exercise and also um, both sides. Now you go to the other side and look at the finger. Ne? <laughs> look at your finger. The finger must not be there because if the finger was there then this is like your bone is broken and then you have a, a kind of... I don't know, you have to be like that because you want to work with your wrist during the play so you can yeah. block it with your finger, no? Ah, okay. Okay. So. Yeah. So, again, yeah. this is very good, no? So, and this, if you consider this is a week, no? So, naturally, Christian is, is a sportsman, no? But nevertheless, the method is to start with simple things and then proceed to more difficult things. And the simplest is to, to do this with, with table tennis rockets, no? Okay, and the other hand, you have to stress it always that both exercise it with both hands. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. You have to go down in your knees, ne? so that you, okay, and, and the other back hand side, okay, okay, okay. So the see. next uh, lesson that we have today is a kind of um, a relaxation when holding the rocket. Ne? Because uh, a good player is not uh, holding the rocket like, like madmen, only in the very important moment of hitting the ball 
the rocket should be solid, ne? otherwise you can do whatever you want with it. Ne? And to learn it, you start, for example, like this. Ne? You try to you go with your knees and your wrist, and you let the rocket swing. Ne? Hop, and hop, and hop, and hop, and you go to the other, other hand. Ne? And you try to switch without losing the harmony. Hop, and hop, and hop. And then you get the feeling for, for this moment where the rocket is here, it's standing for a moment, yeah? If it is, uh, yeah? and then it starts to fall, yeah? and this is the moment where you change it because for a, more, for a short while it is standing. Yeah? Okay, so then um, to explain uh, that sometimes when you hit, okay, you have to hold solid yeah? here. Either backhand, or if it is, and we have both hands, we, we play both hands, okay? Then in this moment, it's a, a solid hit. We have said we change the position of the feet of the foul, of the feet, eh? This is for backhand, this is for forehand. This is for backhand, this is for forehand, okay? So when the forehand comes like this, in the moment you hit the ball, the rocket is like that. And then you have to hold it solid, ne? Or if you come from the backhand side, then you come here, here you have to hold it. So, you do this, like hammering, very fast, but the, 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 so that you explain to the student, this is the force with which you have to hold the rocket. Okay. Okay. And, you can invent exercises like that to uh, enhance the coordination of the feeling how long is the rocket how long is it what should i do with it basically a good player feels uh, the flatness uh, uh, the head of the rocket as if it was his hand ne? he's he's making like like that like he would slap somebody in his face ne? with his hands, nah? he can do it with his rocket then. Nah? And so that he has to stretch this field of perception, as we call it, morphogenetic field of your hand should be stretched to the rocket. Nah? And to learn actually from the beginning what, what is possible, then you have to get the feeling for these edges. Nah? And this is one of the exercises. Okay, you make like, make a big, big picture so that uh, Everything must be at the same time to be seen. Okay. You should paint an eight, ne? like the sign of eight on the wall, or maybe like that. Ne? Change positions. Okay, help. So that you keep continuously in touch and do not change the force with which you make it, okay? Good. So, and then, I mean, to show you what is possible now, if you, if you train this for, for a few minutes, for the surf, no? Both sides, no? Okay, you, you, you train the surf like this, then, then, huh? and you change, and you change, and you change. When you try to feel the momentum in this moment when the rocket goes down, then you can make it faster and faster and faster. And in the, or from the other side better, faster, faster. And on the very top, you can, you can let the hand go, ne? Like, it, like the rocket is falling down. Ne? You don't hold it, you open your hand ne? here. Okay, and put together and it gives you like this. No? Oh. You see this moment of changing. No? You throw the rocket from hand to hand without noticeable you know, disruption. No? There is no disruption. No? <laughs> okay? And if you then play forehand, and you can play forehand from the left side, Okay. Okay. And 
So our, our tendency is to make tennis a kind of ballet, ele elegant playing, no? Both hands, like fencing, no? Like fencing, no? Okay, elements of fencing, elements of dancing. Basically, you should never stop. You should never stop if you play. The energy is there. So you play and you change back. You can make such a okay. You follow, you follow the rocket where it wants to go. Okay. So this is it. And then <laughs> you make this. Ne? You can transfer the children to say you have to keep the rocket in the in the in the balance. You can go down. Okay. You can go down. You can sit down. You keep going, you keep going, keep going. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and then your left hand again, okay, left hand, left hand, and then you can do this, ne? and you can do this. starting to play any uh, rocket play like table tennis, tisch tennis, uh, table tennis, uh, lawn tennis or badminton, okay. The most natural form is to start with table tennis because basically it's your hand. It would be even better to have something which you could attach like this, ne? with children, ne? They, they should play like that. Ne? That they, that they hold it like this, no? like in the hand, no? basically, and making like, you know, slap, 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 so that the feeling is the, your hand is uh, playing, no? Okay. Next the size of my thumb. 